Because I'm an educator, I'm gonna do the shape that I hate. <laughs> Let's do some nails. This ugly shape that I hate, you have to know it's basically all in the form, as many shapes are. Ever how you put the form on is gonna make a big difference. See if you can guess what shape that I'm at. If you can guess, cameraman, don't say anything. Okay. You may not even know. I've never done this shape on video, especially, and I don't believe in 35 years I've ever done. I think it's only been around for like 20, but I really dislike it. It goes against everything that I love about nails. So how we begin this ugly shape is, we all like to pinch the tip part of our form. Don't do that with this shape. Now I'm not dissing anybody who does like this shape. It's just not a shape that I like. It actually started off as a mistake. People were making this shape because they couldn't get the right shape. A group of people started to like it and they started to do it more and more and more and then exaggerate it a bit. So don't pinch the form. Don't pinch it together here. Don't do anything like that. Leave the form like that. Can you guess what it is? Like I say, cameraman, don't say anything. Okay, so going right from this moment forward for me is really, really weird. And if you've never done this shape, it's gonna be weird for you too. And if you're used to all the other shapes, this is not what we do for any other shape except this one. Okay, so leave it flared out like that, okay? So I'm gonna get a big bead and I'm gonna start building it. I haven't addressed this video in a long time because I don't like it. And everything in, that I'm doing is aesthetic and it's, it's a passion of mine. So every shape that I've built so far, I really like, even my least favorites. Coffin's not my favorite, but I do love it. It's, it's pretty cool but I have my ultimate favorite, which is the almond and the stiletto and the combination of the almond and stiletto, which is the almanetto or what do you want to call it? <laughs> but this shape, mm -mm, I really don't like it, but I'm an educator and I really thought, you know what? We're gonna do it because there still is an education to it. And the education at this point, which is really hard for me to get used to, is do not pinch your form, big time, right? So when you get off the free edge, that's where all nail shapes start is at the free edge. We're entering the free edge area now. This is where our shape starts to take shape. Now, I normally tuck in. See, I'm tucking in like that. Not this shape. We're going to flatten. This is why you don't want to pinch the shape. We want it to widen, which is not a common word in our industry. We don't often say widen. <laughs> We just like, generally, a more slender look. And I'm making fun a little bit. I'm not saying, I, I try not to say I hate anything, but you need to experience it before you make that full decision. So here I am experiencing the shape that I've always felt that I hate. But maybe it will grow on me. Honestly, I can't wait to read the comments on this cameraman because it's gonna be interesting to see how many people actually really do love this shape. So I, I'm assuming now y'all know what shape that I am doing, right? So when you flatten it out like that, it's getting thinner and thinner. So I need to add another layer because I'll tell you what the problem is with the shape. It's going to catch on everything. I wear square nails for years, love them. And then when I wore almond nails or even stilettos, I found I could wear st stilettos and almond nails much longer and easier than the same length of square. In other words, if I wore a very long almond, I can't wear a very long square being the same length because square would catch on everything, so I had to wear the square shorter. But I could go longer with the almond because I didn't have those nasty sides getting caught on everything. So this shape started off as a mistake. So I'm gonna get another blob. And I know this because I've been doing nails for a long time and the customers used to come in and complain that the salon that they went to flared out the nail. And that was not the desired look. And then over time, a long time, some actually grew to like that mistake. That happens with a lot of things in our world. They can sometimes start off as a mistake. So that's what happened with these guys. They kind of got flared out and then some group of people actually kind of liked them. I was not in that group. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I try not to, you know, if you don't like something, I sort of the old school, try not to say anything about it at all. <laughs> but I'm an educator and 
all shapes should be up for education. So whether I like it or not, it has become a thing and some people really do like it. So we still want to make sure that we're having our structure. But when we get off that free edge there, as soon as the free edge begins, we want to widen it out. I can't wait to see the comments on this and how many people actually really do like the shape and even what they can share is maybe how they are doing it. And I'd be curious to see how long people have been wearing a, well, I guess I can say it now. It's the duck nail, the flared nail. I like to call it the scuba flipper. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like to call it ugly, is what I like to call it. I just do not like it. Okay, so I did not like almond when I first saw it either. And, you know, stilettos were like, whoa, that's so crazy. <laughs> but I love them now. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give it a good go. Maybe I'll... Mm -mm. Maybe I'll like it. I just can't see it. And, but I'm going to make sure I have my um, apex in there. So I'm going to make sure he's in there. Wow. That. It looks like a fish tail. Could be a mermaid tail. Right? Yeah, I would prefer to you know call what? it a that's, mermaid tail. That would make a nice look. Maybe I'd, I'd like that better. Put a better. pin in that. Put a mermaid, pin in that? Mermaid tail nails. Yeah, I think that'd be more attractive than duck nails. Do you see why I hate it? No, I'm, I, I'm really, I kind of like it, but I am You're a scuba not diver, so it's kind of- You're not serious. Kinda, well, I, it's like scuba diving, it's a great shape, you know? But not on a fingernail. Well. Oh, you can't go to that side. You have to be on my side on this one. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I was wrong. See, well, this is why I'm doing it. I'm trying to be open-minded, you know? I don't think I'm going to like it, and for the reasons why I don't, because it's wide. I don't like it to be wide. I want it to be nice and slender, but again, I'm trying not to be such a snob. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, let me make sure I got my structure in there. It's a little thin on this side, however, I think it is where I want it to be, but I'm just going to add it just in case. And you know, you have a lot more nail estate on the free edge of that nail. So we do want to make sure the structure is correct because this bad boy is going to get caught on stuff. This, this, this flipper, this mermaid tail is going to get caught on way more stuff than I'm used to. And you know, if you do like the shape, it may be something you just get used to. Just like any shape, right? Okay. I've seen them go longer. I've seen some people where they'll do them super long, like the three inch nails that some people are wearing, but it looks more like um, a trumpet to me. It doesn't, it's starting to lose the duck nail terminology that it's been deemed with. Oh goodness. I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, well it's dry enough I can take off the form. So while we're waiting for the acrylic to cure, I just wanna show you a way you can do it with a tip. You can do this, but I suggest a coffin shape tip. And this is how we're gonna use it. So find one that's going to fit your finger. We're, we're gonna use this small finger. So this is a coffin tip and choose a coffin tip because this is the coffin and let's say I'm gonna put it on this finger. You can see it's too big for this finger. But what you're gonna use is the coffin the other way, right? So you can see the, I'm holding this, but you can see the flaredness, right? So what I would suggest is as the tip starts to come up and it's building the apex for the cuticle area, as it starts to be curved right in here, cut it from curved end to curve end. Doesn't have to be purely straight. Just cut that right off. And then, oopsie, just dropped it. Okay, let me move this because if I drop it again, I can't see where it is. Okay, so I've cut the end. Let me see if I can make it just a little bit straighter. And then you want to glue the narrow end or adhere the narrow end to the finger, but it's a little bit, tiny bit thicker. So I'm gonna cut that off too, because it's actually kind of hard and it might be harder to shape. So I'm gonna cut off the end of that. Okay. Then I will adhere this with whatever you're using to adhere. 
and then smooth this, when this is stuck on there, smooth it down, but just make sure you make the tip go from side to side. And you can see how you've got that flared end. See that? There's your flared end. So you can do that with a tip. Okay, so we did this with a form and the trick with a form is just don't pinch it. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly file this up and then I'm gonna paint it for my very first in 35 years duck nail. Can't even believe I said that. Here we go. When I file, I always start with shaping my nail first. I just get a general shape. It's not the fine tuning, it's just a general. And this nail is going to be no different. So I am going to literally make sure the end is straight. I just wanna say as a side note, I always wear a mask when I'm filing, but right now I have a fan right beside me that is blowing all of the dust away from me, so I'm not breathing it in directly. So I will get my shape just as a roundabout. And this is where it's gonna be hard for me because I'm always wanting to taper it in, but I need to leave this flaring. So I'm just taking off the extra bits I don't need. You know, and there is too much flaring and then there's the right amount of flaring. You just gotta figure out what you want and how flared you wanna make it. Okay, I'm getting into the groove of accepting it and embracing the shape. Can't say I'm liking it, but I'm kind of having fun. I guess it's the challenge of making a new shape, right? Kind of the fun of it. I have a method of filing, which is I go back and forth over the whole nail and that eliminates any high points and it evens it out with the lower points creating a very smooth nail. Okay, let me get me hand file out now and fine tune that a little bit more. Make sure it is where I am going. Oh goodness. You know when you do something for uh, many, many times in a row, maybe weeks, months, years, you really get used to it. It's really hard to do that thing that you've done in a different way altogether. I'm on automatic pilot when I do nails, and this is definitely making me stop and think. So one thing I'm really focusing on, I have to with every single nail, no matter what shape it is, I'm making sure that I have my structure. Beautiful apex, I love that. I have to be careful I don't make it too. Narrow, oh, that is definitely flared. Mm -mm -mm. Oh goodness, okay. Hold it up to a light source. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I was having a moment with it there for a minute, but. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna finish filing it, make sure it's not too thick and just make it nice and shapely toward the end. And then we're gonna polish it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it and I'll put some gel polish on it so we can see it much better because the when it's a real nude colored pink, it's hard to see it completely. And then we'll examine it. Well, I chose this beautiful yellow color because it reminds me of duck feet. When I look at this design, I see it mostly done in French. So I'm just gonna quickly paint a French smile. I'm gonna paint the end too, so we can see exactly how thick it is. Okay, I've got the color and the top coat on. While I cure this, I wanna share with you some beautiful ah. duck nails. Let's take a look. 
These artists are truly working the duck nail beautifully. Even when created a little shorter, they're still adorable. With these designs, it's slowly making me a believer. Well, I've done it now. <laughs> it's official. I've actually made my first duck nail and I painted it yellow because for that duck feet look. But I can see some other viewers have done a beautiful job with it and it's growing on me a little. And Caraman thinks it should be a, a, a scuba diver's flipper. Or a mermaid tail. I like the mermaid tail. So I can get on board with that. I could actually see doing some mermaid designs on this and that might make me like it a bit better. I can't wait to see how you guys feel about the flared duck nail. Let me know in the comments.